There's a deep sense of satisfaction to it. Again, I don't like to eat for pain. I like to eat for joy. I like my stuff seasoned well and delicious. But we're going to see some cooking once again, like we said before. We got Nick C versus Mr. E, another classic starting here on FD. Oh my gosh, and this is like another classic. This is Xeno classic. Haven't seen these two go at it in so long. Um, could be a refreshing change of pace a little bit. Both of them already like swinging. Yeah, honestly, we just <laughs> we just went from a set that took like an hour to something that's probably gonna take all of five minutes. Like these two are going to go in. Mr. E is gonna want to get those ledge traps, want to get the big punish game in particular, but Nick wow. C is so good at just zone breaking, Mr. E. Yeah, he just makes the most out of his mobility. He knows how to abuse his football hop, jump outside of the range. But Mr. E doing exactly what he does best. Sets up that tech change, you know, sets up your dash backs uh, with, and, and punishes it with down smash. He does that so consistently to so many different plays. Um, that time, though, he was anticipating a tech and was not able to find it quite yet. Nick trying to go for it all with an up smash, not able to find it quite yet. Going to be drifting just outside of the F smash's hitbox. A beautiful mix up, Mr. E not ready for it. This is one of those times where I wonder why anybody picks Captain Falcon when they're off stage against someone like Lucina. The fact that Nixie consistently gets around it, we said it so much during the set versus uh, and the fact that he's able to do it here, it's just so, it's just pain. <laughs> it's just like, what, what do you do to get around all of this pressure off stage? And Nick still cannot find the KO yet. For sure. But there, he tries to go through the up. He had a ledge, but Mr. E, you have to. Like, that's not a move that you can hard punish the land, right? You can you can soft mm -hmm. commit to a lot of things and be able to consistently punish it because, wow, Falcon has so much mobility to be able to get it. That back alien is not going to be able to do it quite yet. Mr. E is sitting at a huge lead right now, but... I mean, we've seen Nixie do the impossible. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it's never a Nixie set unless you see a stock get deleted within five seconds. It's just that potential is always there, even with the stock lead right now. Granted, if you keep landing aggressive in front of his E like that when he has a whole stock, he's going to be willing to swing and trade with you because all that percent is completely in his favor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And right now, Nixie trying to go for it all, trying to clean it up with the E. Not able to find it quite yet. I love the way that they're dashing back a little bit right now. Just sort of waiting for that landing. Not able to find it, but that is going to be it. An excellent edge guard. And honestly, a fairly confident game one. So yeah, that's, a, that's pretty much the theme of the way the set's going to go. But, you know, Mr. E's going to look for the mistake aggressive moments get the punish but particularly off stage just you have to abuse the bad recovery out of captain falcon it's just you ha you have to get it every single time and he was consistently getting it but if nixie could get to the point where he has mr e pretty much running away from him the entire time this could be a completely different game and we've already seen it ten thousand times over uh like nixie moving into this next match is going to forcefully make it known to mr e that he is not out of this and he's going to try to destroy him <laughs> These are the two players, I mean, I feel like a lot of, you know, New York City's top players, what really makes them, you know, so menacing is that they have the ability to, you know, force their own game plan and yet be able to adapt like nobody else, right? Yep. So you, you can never count them out at any point in the set, no matter the game deficit, um, you know, like these are like two players who can get a bit of momentum for themselves, they can make so many different wild adjustments over the course of the game. Um, you know, that game specifically, Mr. E was just able to execute on a lot of those kills um, and just exploited how linear Captain Falcon's recovery really can be. Made the most mm -hmm. out of how much space Lucina just covers with tools like back air and, and down tilt. I mean, I've said it in the past. If you have a game plan versus Tri-State, throw it in the trash. Because if you look at history, especially like Frostbite last year, uh, a majority of upsets for out of region, Japan, anybody who decides to come here and just the, everybody's like, oh my god, they're so smart. They beat everybody. And then they get destroyed by Tri-State. Why? Because y'all are menaces. Y'all do not fear anything. And that is what? a big reason why. That? Because of damage. What was that? <laughs> oh what my was that? god. Capitalization like that out of Nick C is the reason why this this scene is so insane. Look at this mix. Look at Nick C at the ledge, going with an up and then a double jump side to get back onto the stage. How does he find these kills? How does he know how to go through them? Oh my goodness! Hey, I, I, I see that out of the down tilt. What is happening? Sometimes it's just. I don't even know if they're just the truest things. Nixie just feels it. He knows when he can get somebody like that. And gets the tech into the up B2. This is what I was talking about a second ago. Stop. This set is just, like, that whole He's game going. going forward. And the back hit of the up is still able to clean out that sock. That was both, like, the most 
like ridiculous yet clean stock I've seen in a while. It didn't even matter that Nixie was getting hit sometimes because he still found a way to get hit, tech, and hit Mr. Liu right back for it. Honestly, I had no idea that this was a style point contest because everything about this is the All Star game, and the only one who's here actually playing is Nixie. Like that whole first game, we talked about how good it's going to be for Mr. E to consistently get those edge guards and can just get punishes. But when Nixie opens you up and stays in your face like that, oh, it's a problem. But this recovery, this ledge trap attempt, could also reverse that problem in Mr. E's favor. He misses, but somehow doesn't get hit by that down there, and then fucking kicks straight after him. Oh my gosh. Wow, so yeah, I like the way that you're just sort of standing at the corner, but... You're dead. <laughs> the, way oh that Nick, the way that Nick holds for the man, once he... Once Nick has an idea that he wants to do something, he finds a way to connect it. Right, I think I think nobody is capable of holding forward, you know, as as well as Nick is able to. Just look at this, Mr. just standing there, he runs up, grabs and up smashes. Just, just... I, who comes up with that? You know what, I feel... I. I think the best way to ever describe fighting against Nick C is when you're a new person driving in New York for the first time and you are getting tailgated for staying in the left lane by literally everyone. <laughs> that is Nick C. He is behind you the entire time with high beams on, making you realize you need to get the hell out of the way. And that is just, it, it's such a scary thing to fight. Getting into game number three, I think we're probably just staying here on FD from the way things look. Well, um, yeah, they both looked really comfortable on the stage. Um, I think this one really didn't favor one or the other, but I mean, again, on a stage like FD, once you give Nick the opportunity to get a bit of momentum going, he just runs all the way with it. Um, I love that preemptive neutral from Mr. Lee, recognizing the position that Nick wants to start fishing for his jump hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a lot on air to airs. You need to beat out Nick C before he gets to you. You 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 have to just positionally put out solid option coverage to stop Captain wow. Falcon from reversing up B like that and almost hitting you with a down air after you had such a good lead. He had the right positioning and everything. He just second guessed himself a little bit on the execution. He just needed to drift and thank you so much. And the initial oh, Kevin with the five gifted subs to what in a crazy wow. set and then a KO coming in from Nick C. That is an applause if I ever seen one thank you for the five subs wow that's uh that's that's huge thank you so much um but just like that the game has been even back up both of them sitting at zero police times on the second stocks right now nick just sort of finding his way back on but uh they're just kind of going through blow through blow right now yeah, honestly, that's really just like, the, the, that's what these matches always devolve to between these two. It is always about who gets the better quick punishes, the better trades, and because your your conditioning only lasts for so long. They are so smart, and that is a jump that was hit. So he's forced to up B, and that's the stock. Great job by Lucina. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. E. Yeah, and what an excellent dash. Waits for the goal and still finds the punish. That time, Nixie was anticipating maybe a neutral air dodge or perhaps a mash forward. Not able to find either of those. Mr. E, beautiful out of shield punish. But right now, Nick uh, just sort of looking for anything that he can get going. Yeah, trying to seek out a lot of jumps, even trying to catch him being aggressive. Oh! He's gonna look for no! Mr. E not falling for the bait and tries to go for down air, but luckily for Nixie, he doesn't die just yet. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not going to be a quite yet. I love the way that Nixie's just landing with side B, um, you know, just sort of making the recovery so ambiguous and conditioning Mr. E just to sit and shield sometimes. But that time, you see the way that they changed the way that they spaced F smash. Mm -hmm. They put it back towards the, uh, you know, closer to the stage. That time, they tried to catch and swat Nick out of the air, and so they did. You know, that was an excellent edge guard from uh, Mr. E. Yeah, that whole situation right there is purely on, does Mr. E make a mistake? Because you have to recover high here, you need to fade away and hope that Mr. E forward smashes early so you get back in. But Mr. E noticing, hey, I am up two stocks. I can charge, wait, I'll be fine. Good call. Going into this next game, I, I expect another, honestly, I, I, I almost expect a world record speed run from, from Nick C. This is just literally the way that these sets go. <laughs> so let's see what happens if he repeats game two. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, if, I feel like every time that Nick just kind of barely loses a game, or you know maybe it's like a bit of a more of a slow-paced game. The next game he, he plays with anger and fire, and that's what he's doing right now. An excellent catch on the landing with down B. You have to respect just how much space Falcon can cover so quickly. Yeah, just a burst option from a character who really relies on people being simple and just kind of trading, uh, but also definitely loves people who have bad times recovering. Just the presence of staying down there forced Nick to have to jump away, and that ended up costing him the stock. Yeah. 
Um, again, I'm assuming he's just getting these juggles. Uh, Nixie, though, finding the cross up, finding his way back on. Love the way that they're mixing it up with double jumps. And wow, that down end was so smart. Nixie was not at all prepared for it to go behind him and wasn't able to find the added shield punish. Yeah, these fadeaway fairs too are really putting in a lot of work right now. And now, because of the fact, again, that like the stock up really matters in this too, because Mr. E needs to afford to be able to get trades and be willing to swing versus, you know, getting hit by a down air or nair one and almost dying. So, and these nairs are really doing a good job of just eating out a lot of Nixie's options. Things are actually starting to look pretty rough pretty fast. Yeah, and I love some of these double jump fadebacks back onto the stage from Mr. E as he gets back on and just really afford to some poor recovery options or scares Nixie into going through some really quick out of ledge options. That's going to be the downfield. <gasps> oh, no. Pack of bags, you're going on your favorite trip to the blast zone. That one hurt a lot. Now, Nixie can very much still do some crazy stuff, but the way that Mr. Wow. E is playing right now, I, I don't know if it's going to happen. Mr. E is pretty locked and loaded in controlling this match. Yeah, I mean, he's just holding it down so well. Nick can't seem to get enough presents to put himself in a position where he takes a stock. At positioning for Mr. E offstage is immaculate. Finds the parry out of shield because, of course, you have to remember the parry box is going to be so much bigger than the shield, and up smash has a huge scoop to it, too. Um, so Nyx finds the kill, but how does he How does he start? How does he start the stun? Honestly, Nick has, Nick, Nick has no chill, just willing to. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it avoids the. If he got that Falcon kick, I 100% of my soul believed he would have got the KO, but there's nothing he could do right there. Reversing the up B, that is going to be it. Almost making it look like he was getting something going, but Mr. E kept it clean and takes it three to one. That was such. That was like the first time we've seen like a pretty confident set all night as well, right? Like. Everything up until this point has been like a game five nail biter, you know, last stop, last hit, timed out. Uh, but this time, Miss Dewey just looked so in control. Definitely yep. one of the biggest menaces still left in this one. He, you know, he, he wants the gold, baby, you know? He's, he already, you know, both of the, all these players so far have already earned so much money. It's time yep. for them to make a little bit more. Hey, everybody walking away with some pay today. I believe it goes all the way down to like 13th place. Like people, this ninth. whole thing, thanks to Matcharino, ninth, excuse me. Uh, you know, this whole Matcharino thing, everything with the support, that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, great job from the run from Nixie. But Mr. E, you gotta give a test, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Mr. E was able to shut down all that aggressive play. You see, uh, you did not mean to do that. He was trying to up and fade away so he could still get back in, but it ended up not working out. Um, I did just take a peek and we were talking before, you know, I, I made the bold prediction that um, that might have been a foreshadowing for grand finals from that winter semi set. But if there is one.